Did you know that rabbit farming is one of the ways that you can be able to make good money right now? You can be able to make money just behind in your backyard by using the smallest space that is available to you at your home. The economic situation as per now will require everyone to have different sources of income. So guys, this is one of the ways that you can be able to make some money aside maybe from your professional job. You can be able to set up a small modern farm within your home just behind in your backyard and be able to make some good money from it. And I'm going to be showing you how you can implement this on a very small piece of land that you have at home and be able to make some good money out of it. Now guys, as of today, rabbit farming is on a boom. You can be able to do some bit of rabbit farming at home, no matter the space that you have in your backyard and you will be able to make some good money out of this remember the world is shifting to health feeding and doctors and health practitioners are recommending people to be able to feed on healthy meat and this is one of the reasons that has sparked a revolution within rabbit farming right now as now rabbit farmers are scooping big when it comes to selling this rabbit meat so guys, if you're interested in making some side income apart from your professional jobs income, then guys, this is a video for you. Make sure that you watch this video from beginning to end. So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, today we have got an exciting topic that we are going to be taking you through. And these are the things that you should do before starting your rabbit farm. So guys, before you start your rabbit farm, there are several crucial steps that you need to ensure that you have taken to be able to create a successful and sustainable rabbit farm. So guys, in this video, we're going to be breaking these ones down. And by the end of this video, you will have the comprehensive knowledge for you to be able to start and run your successful rabbit farm. So guys, the first step you're going to take is you have to do research. So before you start this backyard business or rabbit farm, you have to make sure that you're well conversant with the rabbit farming concept. Make sure that you have made yourself aware of the different breeds. You have also taken a look at the nutritional requirements for these rabbits. You have also looked at the different housing options that you can implement on your farm. Also, you have taken into consideration the health and disease control that you will implement on this farm. So before you go into any business or any venture, you have to make sure that you have the right information to help you kickstart this. So guys, you can get this knowledge from numerous resources. So if you look online, you will be able to find a lot of books that you can go through and they will help you with this. You can also read some articles online. You can also join some forums where these issues are discussed and you'll be able to acquire this knowledge. Or you can also interact with some experienced rabbit farmers. They will be able to share these valuable insights into rabbit farming. Then you will be able to kickstart your farm. Then guys, when you're starting your farm, make sure that you take a keen look at the legal and the zoning regulations within your areas. Because different areas have some local regulations and zoning laws that you may need to adhere to before you start to rear these animals. So ensure that you are compliant with any permits or licenses that may be required to start a farm within your area. So make sure that you get in touch with your local authorities and get clear information, permits or any other licenses that may be required for you to be able to start your farm. Remember, some regions may have specific regulations regarding the number of animals you can rear on your farm when it comes to things like waste disposal. Also, some areas may have restrictions as to the noise levels. So it is always good to get in touch with these authorities and make sure that you are at the right side of the law. So make sure that you are also familiar with these regulations to avoid any legal complications down the road when you have started your farm. So now guys, after you have looked at these two, you have the right knowledge about rabbit farming. Then you have also looked at the local regulations and you feel that you are within the law to be able to start your farm. Then you will have to develop a business plan for your farm. So guys, developing a solid business plan is very crucial. 
any business venture will require you to develop a business plan so what does this business plan help you to achieve so this business plan will set for you the goals will set for you your target market will also set for you any other expenses let me say expenditure on the farm the financial projections so it will be able to guide you into the future so with this business plan you can be able to maneuver the economic trends within the economy of your area of operation so guys this well thought out business plan will not only guide you but it will also make it easier for you to secure funding if needed so let me say you wanted to get a loan for the any bank institution or any financial service institution to give you a loan they will have to look at your business plan first so this is going to be crucial if you want to get financing but it is also going to be your future guide within the unknown economic situation within your economy then the other thing you're going to look at is choosing the right breeds now here it means that now you have your business plan then you are good to go but before you start your farm you will need the rabbits this is where the breeds of the rabbits come in so the success of your rabbit farm is heavily going to depend on choosing the right breeds for the goals you're starting your farm for remember there are different reasons why you would start a rabbit farm some would start a rabbit farm to produce rabbit meat others would do it to produce fur then others would do it to raise rabbits and sell them as pets so selecting the right breed is going to depend on the reason why you're starting your rabbit farm so here your research that you had carried out at first is going to help you in this it will help you select the right breeds that will align with the objective why you started your farm remember some breeds are better suited for meat production while others may excel in fur production or others will excel if they are raised as pets so now here guys the choice of your rabbit breeds is heavily going to affect the success of your rabbit farm so now after you have selected your right breeds now you will come to the housing so guys make sure that you design and build appropriate housing structures and these structures must be able to protect your rabbits from bad weather conditions from predators they should assure proper ventilation temperature control and generally assure the well-being of your rabbits when they are within that structure so guys remember a comfortable and secure environment is essential for the health and productivity of your rabbits so your rabbits will be able to be more productive if they are well cared for on the farm and if their living environment is good this is when you are going to get a lot of meat from your rabbits a lot of fur from your rabbits rapid growth from your rabbits and also this is going to ensure that your rabbits are healthy on the farm so proper housing is going to be very key and this one i would advise you to use the cages for us here on our farm we've been able to build spacious cages we use the wire mesh down and on the side the wire mesh down will help you in the cleaning of those rabbit cages in that they will self clean themselves the rabbit droppings will just drop down then also on the side it will ensure that that cage has fresh inflow of air in and out of that cage so this is very key when it comes to the health of these rabbits that will be living in these cages they must be spacious enough don't overcrowd your cages because if you overcrowd them then your rabbits will not be able to exercise remember rabbits need to exercise so after you have put your structure there then you are going to establish a reliable food supply the mistakes farmers make is that you want to start a farm you bring your rabbits on the farm but you have not sorted out the food supply chain because these are things that you have to do before you bring your rabbits on the farm you have to make sure that you have feeds that you're going to feed your rabbits when you bring them on the farm so you establish a reliable food supply chain so remember we said rabbit nutrition is another critical aspect to consider when starting any rabbit farm because rabbits need to eat for us here on our farm we generally feed our rabbits on hay and remember hay is very critical when it comes to rabbit diet 
it will help to improve the dental system of your rabbits it will also improve the digestive system of your rabbits so we always keep hay in our rabbit cages and our rabbits will keep chewing on this hay all through day and night then we also feed on pellets so make sure that you get a pellet that is favorable for you you can consult this from a veterinary officer Choose a pellet that will help you achieve the objective why you started your rabbit farm. So choosing the pellet is going to be very important. Then we also feed our rabbits on mash. This combination has been able to work for us on our farm and we have been able to get good results. But sometimes we also include in some green leafy grass this we just pick from the garden and we give our rabbits for this you have to make sure that this grass is safe for your rabbits to be able to feed on don't just give your rabbits any grass because some grass may be poisonous to your rabbits and will kill them so when it comes to this leafy green grass you have to be very careful and specific to the grass that you're feeding to your rabbits so now after you have covered the food aspect on the farm you will have to make some sort of arrangement with the veterinary officer because your rabbits are going to need veterinary care on the farm some diseases can be controlled by the farmer some advice from a health professional and this is going to be a veterinary officer so ensure that you have a relationship with a knowledgeable veterinary officer who can provide these routine checkups on your farm and sometimes if you have emergency you can be able to call this person to come and check on your rabbits the veterinary officer will also advise you on some ways on how you can be able to prevent or control the spread of these diseases within your rabbit farm for us this has been beneficial to us we have a veterinary officer who always comes to check up on our rabbits and he has always given us good advice ranging straight away from the structure will be able to tell you how you should build your cages he will also be able to tell you how you should feed your rabbits sometimes farmers overfeed their rabbits sometimes they underfeed their rabbits and they become malnourished. So the veterinary officer will be able to guide you in these different kinds of aspects. So make sure that you have this connection or relationship with a veterinary officer. So now guys, if you have put all these things you have looked at in place, then you can be able to start your farm. And I can promise you that if you have done this, you will be able to start and run your farm successfully. You will be able to gain from this farm it will be able to give you some income and it will be able to grow within a shortest period of time we have had here our farm for more than now two years but we already have more than 300 rabbits on this farm so with careful planning and putting these things we have talked about in place you can be able to start your farm and grow it in a very short time possible so guys if you're looking for a side source of income aside from your professional job this can be that business that will kickstart this side hustle for you and you can be able to make some good money from it so guys there you have it by taking these essential steps or tips that we have been able to look at in this video i can assure you you will be well on your way to a successful and fulfilling rabbit farming experience so guys if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more valuable content and guys until next time i'll see you in the next video